Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Murray. And I'm David Jones. Here on Designing Spaces, we take a look at all aspects of your home and property, including lifestyle. So you know there's plenty to interest anyone who owns a home or maybe even plans on buying one. We've got remodeling projects on tap and tips on how to save money and make your home more efficient. And do-it-yourselfers, you'll want to take notes because you folks are close to our hearts as we show you all all kinds of projects for around the house, outside the house, and of course, we profile those cool gadgets and tools that help make our life so much easier. <laughs> so stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Here on Designing Spaces, we are always on the lookout for great ideas that will improve your lifestyle. Or make your home look better. And who doesn't want to look better? Exactly. Watch this. Indoor air quality is one of the top five health risks in America, according to the EPA. Indoor air can be up to 100 times more polluted than outdoor air. No one knows this better than those who suffer with asthma and allergies. This is Andy and Willis Spivey. They've been living here in Ellerby, North Carolina with their pets Sweetie and Minnie for over 15 years. Well, the first time that I started noticing the allergies has probably been several years ago. Just always waking up in the morning with a stuffy nose. A lot of the product in this house is from an older home, so we have a lot of dust issues. And then, of course, the outside issues that we have because of where we live and the area that we live in. In the sand hills, we have a lot of pollen from the pine trees. And um, that was one of the, uh, the main things that I thought that we would need a system that would help. After living in this 2,800 square foot house, they noticed constant sniffling and coughing. Allergies came to mind, but what is the cause? I feel like the factors that contributed to the allergies more are dogs first, and then dust, the and then... Fine. Go ahead. He always says the dogs are fine. We have Benny. She's a boxer. And then we have Sweetie is an English bulldog. And they're the best, loyal, lovable dogs I've ever had. But they shed horribly. But they shed, yeah. <laughs> a lot. Just over time, I just realized that we probably needed to do something to, to clean our house, to have a cleaner home. In October of 2011, a company named Field Controls held a contest to select a winner of a healthy home system. Designing Spaces wants you to have the healthiest home in America. Enter now to win a free healthy home system for your home. Register now at designingspaces.tv. The lucky winner will be featured in an upcoming episode of Designing Spaces. The winners? I went on Designing Spaces because of an episode I had watched on Designing Spaces, and I was wanting to get some information, some further information on it, and the sweepstakes popped up, and I went, whoa. That would be great. Well, I really didn't listen to her that well, but <laughs> the first time. Well, I think once the initial reaction was in, we were excited about it, yeah. weren't we, honey? Yes, we were. We were. I was probably more excited than you, uh, because he's you a skeptic. Were, but I, yep, that's true. I am. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, we won something. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you give a home indoor air that fits the description of fresh, clean, and pure? Designing Spaces decided to see for ourselves. We hooked up with Bobby Nelson with the Field Controls Company, makers of the Healthy Home System, to see how a change to fresh, clean, and pure indoor air can change lives. Okay, Bobby, so before we get into all this technical stuff, why is indoor air quality such an issue? That's a great question, Nick. The Environmental Protection Agency tells us that indoor air quality could be up to 100 times more polluted than outdoor air. Homeowners have been adding doors, windows, making their homes tighter, adding more insulation. That's a great strategy. It keeps the outside air out, but it also keeps that inside air in. Without a healthy home system, all that bad air just gets recirculated. The house becomes unhealthy. It's the sick house syndrome. We're talking mold, mildew, pollen, biological organisms, all things that aren't good for healthy indoor living. So how do we deal with something like this? Well, we recommend a healthy home system, Nick. It keeps your air fresh, clean, and pure. Four simple components. We manage fresh air into the home. 
We filter that air, and then we purify that air. The Healthy Home System. It turns any forced air heating and cooling system into a whole house air purification system that keeps the air fresh, clean, and pure. I don't have allergies, but uh, my children do. And I'm sure our grandchildren probably will also. So it means a lot to us. They've just always had problems with allergies, and it seemed like it probably got worse when we moved here. This is Jesse Marlowe from HVAC Warehouse, who is helping with the installation. We're at the Spivey Home, who entered a sweepstakes on designing spaces, and we're here to install the Healthy Home System. It's four simple components, as we talked about before. Mm -hmm. The first component, and probably the most important, is the brains of the system, which is this little unit on the wall, the Healthy Home System Control. This control interfaces with your heating and cooling system and maximizes all the other components of the healthy home system, the fresh piece, the clean piece, and the pure piece. Today, we are installing two healthy home systems for the Spiveys. What we want to do is improve the air in the living space. And the way we do that is we bring in fresh air in manageable chunks. The way our system does it is with a fresh air damper. That allows you to bring in fresh air at timed intervals. And that fresh air damper works with the Healthy Home System controller. This is the fresh air component of the Healthy Home System. This is a motorized damper that helps control the fresh air that's brought into the home. And what we're going to do is install it right over here. We have our fresh air, and now we get to clean it, right? So we just grab one of these filters, and we're good to go, right? Well, we grab a filter, Nick. And we want to use that filter, but we don't want to use this filter. We want to use a whole house media filter in our system. Bobby, this is a filter on steroids is what this is. In addition to dust and pollen, the filter cleans the air of pet dander, dust mites, and some mold. In fact, it traps 99.9% .9 of airborne particles. This filter is 100 times more powerful than your one-inch filter. All those things that the homeowner can't see, this will filter out. Okay. Dust mites, pollen, pet hair, all the things you need to take out of the air before you purify it in the system. Okay, so our air is fresh and it's clean. Wouldn't it already be pure? Purification takes out all those other things that you can't see, viruses, bacteria, those things that can really pollute your living space. UV technology will help. UV technology purifies the air by zapping those bugs and kills them dead. What I'm doing is installing the Healthy Home System ultraviolet light. This is gonna help keep the air pure and kills funguses, mold, and allergens and also help keep the air conditioning coil clean. The other thing that UV technology will do is help you manage your heating and cooling system and make it more efficient. You might wonder about the cost of installing a system like this. Well, it's surprisingly inexpensive due to the fact that there is no need to replace the HVAC system. One of the things that the homeowner needs to understand is that the healthy home system are components that you add to your existing heating and cooling system. And our lucky homeowners are definitely feeling the benefits of cleaner air. The timeline hasn't been that long, you know, to be sure, but we I can already see a difference in the mornings because I've always wake up completely stopped up and I haven't in the last couple of days, so I feel like we're already beginning to see some improvements. Anything that would help uh, our dog staying in the house longer <laughs> makes me happy. I know that I can't really see that what's going on, but I know that it's going to improve our lives, it's going to improve the quality of air inside our home, and that does make me feel very comforted. Where can I find out more information on this? Well, what we recommend is for homeowners to contact their current HVAC, heating and air conditioning contractor, ask them to come out and do an evaluation, and look at your system and determine whether you really have poor indoor air quality, and then look at healthy home system components to improve your living space. Is there a website I can go to? Fieldcontrols.com will give you a lot of information about the healthy home system and all the components that we talked about today. Wow. Bobby, this is great information. Thank you so much for being on Designing Spaces. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. A home remodeling
remodeling project will not only make your house more functional and attractive, it can increase its value. Yeah, like the kitchen. Or the bathroom. Or the floors. The walls. The plumbing. Roofing. Okay, Designing Spaces likes to bring you all the latest ideas and projects for those home renovations. Homeowners, here's something you really should see. Take a look at this. Curb appeal is a huge factor when remodeling or building a home. And as you can see behind me here, one of the biggest aspects of curb appeal is the roof. We're just outside of Atlanta, Georgia today on Designing Spaces, and we're going to take a closer look at Jen and Gina Campbell's work that they're having done right now because they are putting on concrete tile. That's right, concrete tile, and we're taking a closer look. Guys, where's the down button on this thing? Ah, hot Atlanta, the Big Peach, the ATL, home of CNN, Coca-Cola, and Turner Field. It's also home to the Campbell family, Jim, Gina, and their two kids, Bobby and Julia. The Campbells moved into their new home about a year ago. For Gina, it was love at first sight, who found her dream home on a golf course while driving around the neighborhood. So I came down into the cul-de-sac, and it was just perfect right from the get-go. So I called Jim, and I said, I found the house. And he said, well, let's look at it. Jim, a contractor, was also quickly taken by the beauty of the stately brick colonial. He also saw the potential to enhance its appeal even further. With the brick facade and the, uh, the curb appeal that it has as far as uh, where the roof really stands out when you drive up to the, uh, to the house, yeah. it really uh, warranted something more than just an average uh, roof on it. So when I did a little bit of research, I came across Monier and uh, really liked what I saw. Monier is Monier Life Tile, the country's largest manufacturer of concrete roof tiles, the most durable, versatile, and beautiful roof tiles that you can buy. The main benefit of concrete tile is that it's a lifetime product. So this will be their, their first choice for their last roof. Dave Mills is the director of marketing for Monier Life Tile. We have a lifetime warranty on the material itself. Uh, the tile is, is tested for, uh, for fire, for hail, um, so it's a very durable product and it should stand the test of time. With an area of almost 5,000 square feet, the roof of the Campbell House really stands out, so Dave called on expert roofing contractor Dan Hodge to draw up plans to give the beautiful home the roof that it deserves. Dan told me that it would take his crew about one more day to finish the Campbell House. So Dave Mills and I hit the road to look at some other area houses with concrete tile roofs from Monier Life Tile. The first house we visited was a magnificent colonial. It was re-roofed with multicolored mission barrel style concrete roof tiles. Dave told me that concrete tiles, in addition to being a great value, come in a wide variety of colors and finishes. The roof features these ventilated eave risers, which are not only beautiful, but are functional as well. Number one, it's aesthetic, so it, it gives a different dimension that you don't see on other roofs. Yeah, it's really nice. And, uh, and secondly, is it allows airflow underneath the tile. Well, it's absolutely beautiful, and the use of different colors works so great with the house. It makes all the difference in the world. The next house we visited was a custom-built stucco with a more traditional Mediterranean-style tile roof. This is probably what uh, what roof tile is known for, is uh, is the barrel style like this, and, and obviously red. But as you can see, uh, it, it fits the house very well. Meanwhile, back at the Campbell house, work is almost over as the finishing touches are done to the new concrete tile roof. You can sense the anticipation. It's been a noisy and dusty few days for Jim and Gina and the rest of the family with all the sawing and hammering. As the project enters the home stretch, they're eager to see their dream home complete. What are you looking forward to the most? Well, probably being done with everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'll be happy. But just, you know, just to have, um, I mean, it's, it's going to stand out from all the other houses in the neighborhood because of the roof. I mean, you don't see a lot of it in this area, and it's a gorgeous roof. And people will appreciate it from the cul-de-sac and the curb appeal. And because you're on a golf course, they'll be appreciating it from the back as well. And the following day, Gina gets her wish. Her new Monier Life Tile concrete tile roof is finished. And what a magnificent roof it is. A concrete shake style roof that is as beautiful as it is durable. Finally, her dream home has the crowning touch it deserves. Dave Mills explains some of the benefits the Campbell family can look forward to. Well, they have a, obviously a product now that is uh, the lifetime warranty on it. Um, 
they've uh, obviously improved the equity position of their house as well. This house will appraise for a higher amount now. Uh, but more than that, when you drive down the street and you look at the house now, that roof really pops. Yeah, so they've made the investment and they have the envy of all their neighbors. <laughs> I'm sure they've made a, a few of them jealous, yes. But most importantly, what about the Campbells? What do Jim and Gina think about their new roof? <laughs> all right, Campbells, I've already told you I love this. What do you think about your new roof? I love it. <laughs> I do. I mean, it's so, such a pretty roof. It kind of looks like the wood shingles, but I know it's concrete. It's just beautiful. You being a contractor, I, what do you like about it the best? Just never having to worry about it again. There you go. Definitely. You're done. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you Monier Lifestyle. A big part of every homeowner space is the yard. And when it comes to the yard size, doesn't matter at all. Large <laughs> or small, it's a space you can use for fun and recreation. Well, it certainly qualifies as a part of our lifestyle. And Designing Spaces wants you to make the best of it. So take a look at this. With summer not far off, it's time to think about your yard, your lawn, your landscaping, your gardening plans. To help you create your oasis, you're going to need some helpful supplies to get the ball rolling and let nature take its course. Today, we're the homeowners, Laura and Eric, and we're going to help them create their own green sanctuary. So, are you guys ready? We're ready. So tell me, what kind of ideas do you have for the yard? Michelle, we'd like to improve the lawn. We'd like to eliminate the bald spots, the yellow spots. We're looking for a more greener, fuller, vibrant lawn. What about you? Well, I'm a gardener. I have a vegetable garden, but I've been having a lot of problems with bugs this year, particularly ants. Mm -hmm. And I think I'd also like to um, bring a little bit more of a cheerful feeling to the yard, but still relaxing. I'm here today with Kevin Smith from Central Garden and Pet, who brought along a few supplies to help us create, beautify, and protect our yard. Welcome to Designing Spaces, Kevin. Thanks, Michelle. It's great to be here. Glad to have you. So tell us, what are we going to start with today? I think we should start with the lawn. It's sort of the backdrop that everything else revolves around. So let's make sure the lawn is nice and green before we get started. That makes sense, and it sounds great. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do it. So Kevin, tell me, how do we keep our lawn healthy? Well, it's really good to start with the basics, and that's a good quality grass seed. Because if you don't start with a really good quality grass seed, you're probably not going to be happy with the results you have later. So I brought something with me today to show you. It's Pennington Smart Seed, and it is the latest technology in grass seed. And I bet you didn't know there was technology in grass seed. I know right, now. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and what it is, we've got plant breeders who are actually selecting different varieties of grass to make it better than the last generation. This is a beautiful garden, huh? It's a great garden. You've done a good job. Thank you. We need to protect it, though. You know, I mean, you don't want anything to invade this garden that's going to eat the harvest that you're working so hard for. And you've got thousands of insects in this backyard that really want to harvest it before you do. So let's try to keep those out of there. I brought a product for you today that you're probably familiar with. It's Seven. Seven's been around forever. It's been around for generations. And the great thing about Seven is you don't have to be concerned about what insect do I have in my backyard? Because it covers such a broad array of insects. I've got to caution you though, just like with any other insect control, make sure to read and follow the label. Well, Kevin, it seems that we obviously got the garden in order. It's looking beautiful. Yep. Now, what do you suggest for the yard? What do you think that we could do to really bring this garden to life? Let's put some feeders up in your backyard, all around your backyard. I think it'll add idea. a lot of entertainment to your yard. I brought a Cedar Works feeder here. Oh, that's beautiful. It's made by the Amish here in the United States. It is a beautiful feeder. And the nice thing about cedar is you can put it up as a nature lover and feel good about it because cedar is being reforested faster than it's being harvested. So you're never going to run out of cedar. So let's fill one of these up. Let's fill several of them up <laughs> and put them all around the backyard. Let's put a good quality seed in. Something here from Pennington. It's Pennington Ultra. You can pour that in and feel really good about it because the birds aren't going to be picking through it trying to find a seed they like. Everything in it is good. It's the name Ultra. Well, I really love this. I think it's a fabulous final touch. And I love the idea of entertaining your family and friends with songbirds. What do you guys think? This is great. We spend a lot of time in our backyard. 
Yeah, we uh, have coffee out here every morning and we can listen to the birds singing. Definitely. <laughs> well, I love it too. So, Kevin, I would like a birdhouse. Can you tell us where we can get the birdhouses and also all the supplies we use in the yard today? Well, they're very popular products, so you can really ask for them at any lawn and garden retailer or go to central.com if you want more information on these products. Great. And I know that we're also going to have a link to your website on our website where you can also see this portion of the show again at designingspaces.tv. And I'd like to thank Kevin from Central Garden and Pet for being here today, making this all possible. And I'd also like to thank our homeowners, Eric and Laura, for allowing us into their yard today and giving us a great example of how to make your yard look perfect. For Designing Spaces, I'm Michelle Russo. We have really covered a lot of interesting topics on the show today. Yes, we have, and we wish we could keep on going, but unfortunately, we are out of time. I'm David Jones, but thanks for joining us today. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you on the next edition of Designing Spaces. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.